So I've encountered my first hard DIY on, it, on this car. It was installed on the steel pedals, um, stainless steel pedals that BMW sell. And this video is actually going to be really bad because the iPhone 6 does not take good video or pictures in the dark. But I had to do this because I'm done. I've been out here for a while now, about an hour. Um, <laughs> basically, is one of those DIYs or one of those projects where it's what to do is really simple. All it is is sliding this off, and this slides right off in less than a second. It just slides off of this. And <laughs> this one, this pedal thing, the original one, it unscrews. It's a Torx T30 in my car. Some cars might be a little different, uh, but in my car, it's a Torx T30. Screw comes right out, and you have to unclip this from the car, the um, accelerator pedal. <laughs> This was actually hard because for some reason in some cars, this is very different. Um, and I didn't realize that until I searched online why this did not match up with the one I was replacing it with. Uh, I don't know why BMW did this, but um, any it could be random cars. This could be either up or down. So this could be a plug that faces downwards or a plug that faces upwards. Now the upward facing plug, some people would the this kind of plug in your car, this style plug. The DIY of this project will be a lot harder because you have to, basically it's wedged in like that and you have to get in that tight space and unhinged, unclip that plug. And that plug is a butterfly um, clipping plug. So it squeezes on both sides and then you pull it out. So you have to reach in there, squeeze it to release the clips and um, pull it out. That's my cabin light, it's going out. My battery's about to die. And um, it took me about an hour to do that. And um, hey, and I actually broke the clip taking that out. Um, turn that down. <laughs> actually, broke the clip taking that out. And that's the clip that comes from the car. So I was worried about when it came time to reinstall it, whether. Um, the clip would um, clip into the new pedal, but it did. It's a two-sided clip, so this is one of the um, one of the sides. The uh, it's a butterfly, so it's two sort of wings, and it sort of clamps onto the uh, plug. So I broke the outer clamp that faces this side. The inner clamp I didn't break, but that these clamps are really strong anyway, so it's holding. It's holding okay. Uh, so that took an hour. This thing. It took me a while to figure it out. I saw a write-up where a guy said you have to take the steel frame off of this and then put the rubber on and then put the steel on. Try that first and it actually messed me up because that's not how you're supposed to do this. Actually, BMW does have the online manual that you could um, Google and find it for installing this particular pedal. And basically all you need is rubbing alcohol and you just want to um, take the back side of this, which looks just like this. The back of this looks just like the original pedal. And what you want to do is just pour alcohol. I mean, some people said they use Q-tips around here, or but rubbing alcohol, you can't use any other lubricant, but alcohol, alcohol in this surface is a lubricant on the rubber surface, becomes a lubricant. Funny enough, it's hard to believe. But it's a lubricant that dries and doesn't leave a trace, which is what you want. So what I did was I just put this on the ground and poured rubbing alcohol all in there, brought it back to the car. And what you want to do for this is you want to slide it like this position and then um, slide it up and it'll catch. It's like a sort of a, a, it goes around, it's like a hook. There, it goes all the way around. So you wanna catch, catch this corner here, bring it up so you can see. So you wanna catch this corner here at this angle and sort of um, slide it up. I'm sorry, how do I do this? Catch the top corner and then slide it up like that in a circular motion and you want to push down like you're pushing down on the brakes and just squeeze it in there and it'll, it'll clip into place. And it took me about a minute to do that. Doing it the right way took a minute. Doing it the wrong way, the guy told me online, you take the steel out of the frame. That took like an hour of like just trying to figure that out. But doing it the right way just took a minute. That goes to show you how these um, the, the projects on BMW the DIYs um, sort of goes, you win some, you lose some, but um, I won. I finally got it in. It's actually raining and kind of cold now, but they look really good. I'm actually gonna take a picture maybe, or do another video tomorrow if this comes out really blurry, but it's my first DIY, it stumped me. It took me about two, three hours to do this, simply because my plug, I don't know why BMW did this, my plug on my car is very unique. And at one point in doing this, I thought 
the original owner might have changed something here or might have installed something because my cap for this this should have a cap over this a black cap was missing so i figured maybe they did some work on this part of the engine and my clip was different because of that but i realized when i googled it bmw makes two of these one with the plug that faces up and one with the plug that faces down and you plug it in that way the plug that faces down and you plug it in that way it's easy because you could just squeeze it and pull it down this one it's recessed in there and it's really hard to reach so um, that's why you'll see some people say this took takes them like an hour or two hours to do some people say oh it took me like a minute two minutes to pull it out and, and install a new one but it looks good it's worth it um, like I said earlier I think I paid uh, 124 for these shipped from a BMW dealership out in Ohio you get these from 120 to 150 depending where you shop for them but it's definitely worth it it actually matches the rest of the the cabin like the chrome trims on different parts of the cabin especially the fog light sensors and my inside is getting wet because it's raining. All right, guys, I'm gonna head out, but that's how it looks. Finished product, first hard DIY that stumped me in this car so far.